Perk Linehouse. I'm a freelance illustrator and designer from Israel and in this video I'm going to share with you my full drawing process of this work from home poster and I'm going to use Affinity Designer of course. So let's get started. So I started the work process in my sketchbook. I just doodled around, had some fun, tried out a few different compositions with this idea in mind. I ended up really liking this one so I decided to use it and I made a cleaner version of the sketch already in Affinity Designer and then started working on the coloring process. I used an A3 size canvas for this illustration and placed my sketch on top of everything else in the layer panel so this way I can always see it on top and I started to create the big shapes of the illustration and this is always the first step of my work process. I'll start with the big shapes and I'll use uh, just simple geometric shapes and work with the pen tool. And at this point I'm using only vector shapes so I'm staying in the designer persona inside Affinity Designer so everything is easy to scale and it's easy for me to play and adjust the nodes and everything just makes sure everything's kind of placed perfectly. Uh, I just, this is the way I like to work. I like to keep things very precise at this point and then later on to add some more details and work with, you know, in a more free way with brushes and textures and stuff like that. So, so yeah, this is just my own personal way of working and I thought I'll share it with you today. When I was still studying illustration and design in the university, I fell in love with screen printing and it has a huge impact on the way I work even today, even though most of my work today is actually digital. And I mean, I do get to print some of my illustrations, but most of the time it's just 100% digital work. So, but even though I still feel like uh, this way of working with a limited color palette and separation of the colors. Uh, it really impacts the way I work today. And so this is what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna work with just two different colors for the entire illustration, as if it's gonna be printed on a t-shirt or on a poster or something like that. So I'm gonna use just brown and yellow and the white color of the paper and that's it. So I really hope you guys are doing okay during this crazy lockdown situation because of the coronavirus outbreak. I've been stuck at home with my wife and my daughter for the past six weeks. So it's definitely a challenge. And it's kind of funny because I'm used to, I used to work from home. This is what I do uh, as a freelance illustrator and designer. I work for my home studio and I really like the peace and quiet of staying inside and just working on the computer or just drawing in my sketchbook. Um, but this is so different from my uh, normal routine because the kindergartens were canceled like something like six weeks ago. So uh, we have to take care of our daughter and stay at home all the time. So this means just so much more cooking and cleaning the house and doing dishes and taking care of our daughter. So I'm basically running a, <laughs> a small kindergarten. I mean, I just have one daughter, so I guess some, some of you guys have it uh, much harder with more kids in home. But still, it's, it's very challenging. And this is why, uh, this is what made me think about this uh, illustration and I kind of wanted to represent this new situation that I'm stuck in at the moment. So, so I decided to draw this man that is sticking his head out of a house and he's surrounded by, you know, dishes that he has to clean and his daughter, which is really enjoying this new situation. I mean, my daughter is super happy with this new situation. She gets to play with mom and dad for the entire day. And I mean, yeah, she's really, she doesn't care. She doesn't know anything about the coronavirus or anything like that because she's two years old. So she's super happy with this. And so, yeah, this is like the things that I kind of wanted to represent in the illustration. I also added this cat who is playing with the toilet paper roll and 
I guess. Yeah, that's it. Pretty simple illustration, but yeah, all these small details I think are kind of funny to me anyway, and and I think it helps to tell the story that uh, a lot of us creatives who are working from home are experiencing at the moment. So once the big shapes of the illustrations are in place, I actually erase some parts of the sketch because I didn't really need the lines of the sketch anymore and I started working on the smaller details of the illustrations. So at this stage of the, the process, I'd say I'm switching you know, back and forth between the pixel persona and the designer persona very often. And I just work on the smaller details and some of it I actually create with brushes and I use uh, both you know, line work with brushes and brushes that has uh, some textures to them from the dry media category so I'm just using uh, a few different brushes for this part uh, to make things a bit more interesting and warm. So for the beard I used a brush from the inks category which is called uh, brush pen which is uh, pretty nice I really enjoy using it for hair hairlines and stuff like that and when I use it, I actually use, uh, I make sure the stabilizer option is switched on because it makes me create these very smooth lines and I just prefer the way that it looks. So in case you are wondering how my lines are very, very smooth, uh, as I'm using the computer, I'm not uh, drawing on the iPad. So working with uh, pen and tablet, uh, can make your lines a bit, uh, I don't know, kind of messy. So I really enjoy using this stabilizer option to make my brush strokes very uh, streamlined. So just so you know what I'm using. By the way, I have another illustration process video using Affinity Designer in my personal YouTube channel, so be sure to check that out if you're interested. And I really enjoy using Affinity Designer, so I'll probably make a few more videos using Affinity Designer in the future. As you guys can see, I'm using different brushes to create shadows with some textures to them. I really like these grainy, grungy uh, brushes that you can find in the dry media category of, the, of your brushes in Affinity. So there's a few different ones that I played around with and used in this illustration. So I suggest you just uh, go to the dry media category and, and try for yourself, see what works and which brushes do you like. As you guys can probably see, I change some things and I'm not always like super sure of what's gonna happen with the illustration, what, what to do next. Sometimes I kinda just play and test things around and change some of the elements and add and remove certain parts. So this is just my own personal you know, work process. And I guess this is not like a very clean and simple tutorial that you can follow. Uh, together with me and draw together with me. This is not the point of this video. I think like the main goal here would be to show you my own personal approach to creating illustration work in uh, Affinity Designer and yeah, just show you like the behind the scenes and help you understand like different things, different approaches you can use while working in, uh, with Affinity Designer. So hopefully this helps. And if you have any questions or things you want to know, like technical stuff or uh, even personal questions, if you want to ask me something, uh, please feel free to uh, leave a comment. And if you're watching this live, you can leave something uh, in the live chat. And yeah, feel free to leave a comment and I'll be happy to answer any questions that you have. And in case you're interested, I'm going to share with you the final Affinity Designer file of the illustration, uh, just in case you want to uh, download it and open it and kind of see for yourself what's going on, you know, in between the layers and all the details and all that stuff. So 
I guess there's gonna be a link in the description and you can uh, download the final illustration uh, and you can print it if you want to I mean go ahead as long as you don't sell it to anybody else and you just use it for yourself uh, feel free to print uh, your own uh, poster and hang it in your own uh, workspace uh, at home of course because you're working from home so uh, yeah and uh, and if you do if you print it and hang it in your uh, new workspace at home please uh, share a photo with me feel free to tag me on Instagram uh, I'll be happy to see uh, <laughs> your uh, posters and your workspaces uh, if you have anything interesting to show so yeah please go ahead and feel free to uh, print your own poster okay so just a few more details and we'll finish this process video i'm gonna draw this cat now who is playing with the toilet paper. I hope you guys have enough toilet paper for the, for the lockdown. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I know some countries had some problems with uh, people buying too much toilet paper. So hope you guys are okay with this. Uh, we had the same issue here in Israel as well, uh, but um, it was just for like a, a couple of days where you couldn't, uh, find any toilet paper in the supermarkets and apparently also like eggs eggs were missing like throughout the country uh, so yeah <laughs> who would have guessed like I, I'd never guessed that these would be like the the most important items that people would buy like would buy like crazy I mean eggs and toilet paper seems to be very popular here in Israel but but yeah that's just the way it is I decided to change the girl's hair in the last minute. Uh, it felt kind of small. I mean, it's it's such a small detail in the grand scheme of the illustration. I mean, the girl is pretty small anyway. So I thought it would be kind of hard to understand what's going on. And it's going to be better if it's like one big shape for the entire hair. And it's just going to be easier to kind of recognize and understand it uh, from afar. So uh, yeah, I changed it last minute. Okay, so a few more details and we're done. Okay, so this is the final illustration and this is how it will look like as a two color print on a t-shirt. I really hope you enjoyed this process guys. If you have any questions about my work process or anything else you want to know, please feel free to comment below and I'll do my best to get back to you. And I want to say thanks to Affinity for inviting me over to their channel. It's been super fun and I'm just really excited to be here. So thanks so much and that's it guys. Thanks for watching. Take care and don't forget to wash your hands. Bye.